Oh, Fela Kute. I mean, his, his music. Um, I'm a big fan of his music. Most stuff turned me on to his music a few years ago. He is hip hop. He is Afrobeat. He is soul. He is funk. He is. He's emotional. You know, absolutely. Just his journey. His journey. His schooling. His inspiration. His uh, strength and uh, adversity. I mean, just so much to take away from his life. Um, I can't say one thing. I guess those three things I have to do. <laughs> Can I tell the secret? I saw this in previews, so I am so looking forward to seeing it. I loved it. We've been uh, strong supporters of the show for ages. Yeah, this is the fourth time, fourth time I've seen, seen it. the show. Yeah. I'm glad it's on Broadway, off to the Tonys. This is the most inspirational play ever, you know. I've never been so floored by a play in my life, so I'm very happy. It's been remarkable. This has been an amazing experience tonight. Oh, it's so good. We had a really long preview period, and so I'm just, I'm glad that we're open. I'm glad I finally got to meet Sandra Isidore, the woman that I played. She was fabulous. She, it's a dream come true. The family was here. The Fela Kuti family was here. On that stage was Fela's daughter, Fela's granddaughter. Uh, the granddaughter who was nine years old when her grandfather died, and she said the show brought him back to her. I was, I said, oh, Bill, this is real. And what did, did we bring back? Something that they were actually proud of. This is a story that nobody knew before tonight or before this production. It's a story about a man who empowered a lot of people, who loved his country and his people, and he sacrificed a lot in order to make things change. Bill C. Jones is the fearless leader of this particular production of Fela. I think he's remarkable because of his vision. He sees it, he goes for it, and he's relentless about what it is that he's pursuing. And that, that in, of, in of itself is remarkable. It's been incredible. It's, it, you know, there are times when I thought, what is he doing? You know, but I got what he was doing, and he really has pushed me to higher heights as an actor and as a singer. And as, as an individual. We've had a lot of work to do, and he's one of those people that just gets to the root of the matter and gets the work done. So you got to be prepared to bring your tools to the tool shed and like get to work. So it's been great. It's a party. The people come, they dance, they move, you know. They're having a ball. They're having a really good time. People that I'm fortunate enough to meet after the show, they, they express a lot of gratitude, and um, they, they express um, how they've been energized which I, I find very uh, rewarding as someone who's giving energy to hear them say they're giving it back. To see them like, you know, bobbing their head and grooving or actually not being offended by the, the excesses, but actually getting into the spirit of it, that was affirmative for me. I, I think the thing that people can draw from Fela is courage and originality. At the end of the day, if an audience can walk away and feel a bit more courageous, and feel a bit less like a zombie, then uh, I, I feel like our job is done. There's nothing that's ever been on the Broadway that's like this. And I challenge the next group of producers, the next group of young directors, to come up with something that's fiercer than Fela on Broadway. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.